Spend 15 minutes in the pool, a bath, or washing dishes, and suddenly your fingers or toes look like prunes. Uh, that is Emily from Arden Hills wanting to know, why do they get wrinkly in the water? Good question. Heather Brown went to the Aquatic Park in St. Louis Park looking for answers. Everybody show me their wrinkly fingers. Oh, oh how wrinkly are we? Mine look like raisins. Raisins, yeah. Look like stripes, you know. Nail polish. Nail, oh, you're right. You do have nail, beautiful nail polish on this side, yeah. It used to be that people thought our fingers and toes swelled up with water. That the outermost layer of the skin would absorb the extra H2O, but the layer underneath wouldn't. And since those layers are tied together, voila, prunes. Think of it as having a king size sheet for a queen size mattress. But then some cognition researchers looked into this and they said, wait, 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 hold up. People who have nerve damage in their fingers don't get these wrinkles. So maybe this idea of waterlogged digits isn't the whole story. Their theory goes like this. Wrinkly fingers and toes are a response by our nervous system. You know, the system that controls our breathing, heart rate, sweating, the stuff we do automatically without thinking. Their explanation? Evolution. They believe these wrinkles are treads, like on a tire or on our shoes, and they appear when they're needed. That the nervous system causes them by constricting the blood vessels below the skin, making the upper layers of skin pucker up. And that makes it easier to walk in the rain or gather food when it's wet. Could you stay in the pool till your fingers fell off? No. Heather Brown. Well, how long would that be? A long, 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 long time. WCCO 4 News. If you have a good question for Heather, email it by going to wcco.com slash links.